Merry Christmas. Yeah, I know it's going to be in a couple in a week or two weeks or whatever. It's the 12th today, I want to say. That's right. Monday. It's Monday. Time for a Monday mail call. Welcome to Kitmaker's mail call video. Uh, if you've never seen one of these videos before, you're in for a treat. Uh, I think I'm going to add a little more light to the room here. Just, just a bit. Maybe just give some daylight. Here we go. Kind of washes out the Christmas decorations, but you know, I can't help it. Um, all right, so it's been like, what, three weeks? Uh, I, I finally got some stuff in. I, I had like one box here, but that was pretty much all I had with some magazines. So I decided to wait, and lo and behold, more stuff shows up. Um, this is our video series where we unbox live. I don't know what's in these boxes. We're going to unsee what's in there. Uh, we make these kits available for uh, review. Sometimes I do them you know, on the channel. Sometimes people do them on their channels. Sometimes they're written down in, in actual old style handwriting and they're put on our website in what, what I believe is called text. Yes, it's amazing. And people take photos and put those photos with the text. Those are also on our website and are what we also do uh, in terms of uh, reviews. But let's go ahead and uh, start opening this stuff up because uh, there's a bit of it. So we'll start with the magazines though. We'll, we'll tease out the, the, uh, the kits for a bit. What we have here is a issue of Steel Masters magazine, number 141. Uh, this is a magazine that's in French, but uh, has a lot of great pictures and uh, uh, how-tos and, and, and technique kind of articles in it. So if you, if you get by on a, some basic French, you might be interested, uh, or if you're Canadian you, and you're French Canadian, you know some French or you speak French, then that's gonna be, that's gonna be a magazine you're interested in. Uh, this particular one is the, uh, has the F, few what does that mean in french i'm not sure but the amx 30 off f1 which is the artillery unit which i believe was released by Meng some time ago now wasn't that one of their earliest kits i believe it was uh and then we have something from a uh, name of a person which i don't usually name out the people <laughs> but uh, this is uh something interesting i think it is a book on egyptian shermans by Christopher Weeks. It was sent to me by the author himself. Let's go ahead and take a look. He's probably waiting for this to show up. When's this my book going to finally show up? Well, it's it's finally going to show up. <laughs> uh, Egyptian Sherman by Christ Christopher Weeks. It's a soft cover book. Small, you know, in terms of pages. Uh, looks like it's about 47 pages. But obviously a very um, specific look at a very specific uh, time period history and so forth of Egyptian Sherman. So we'll probably take a look at that in a quick... Um, Turning the page video, uh, just real quick before I open up anything else, and I said quick twice in a very short time period. Uh, but we have some, uh, we have a new video format which you probably caught uh, if you watch the channel regularly, and that is the fast five video format. Uh, we've kind of been doing that with the books, uh, usually five minute or less videos for for book uh, previews or, or flip throughs. But we're going to do it with some of the smaller kits that we get as well because they, you know, just we need to let people know that, hey, this isn't going to take long to look at. You know, it might be three minutes, five minutes, but it's not going to be more than five minutes. So hope you're enjoying that format. I can hopefully get more stuff out on it at some point soon. Uh, this one, it looks like something from Photo Etchy Company. Is this, I don't think this is Aber though. Oh. Well, they have this thing like secured inside the envelope. All right. Oh, this is um, DN Models. Um, I believe that's a different logo that I'm used to, but DN Models. Handcrafted. Uh, and they've included some paint masks for Panzer III Os D. Must be something new they have. Sorry for the window glare. And uh, some more paint masks for the uh, Chinese PLZ D or O5. I can't tell what that that is, but that's, uh, again, uh, I'm not sure who's put the a kit out for that, but uh, maybe it's a, it actually looks like a Chinese artillery unit. Um, this one is a Russian 2S19 MSTAS, Russian camo mask set. And then we have a German disc camouflage, different size roundels for small tanks, and I assume these are all 135th scale. This said 135th scale. I believe the rest are 135th scale as well. Yep. And I think that's our, uh, they're individually wrapped there in packages. So interesting. So uh, that type of thing, obviously, <laughs> hard to kind of do a write-up review. I mean, I suppose you could look at the uh, camouflage and give your impression of it and whether it's accurate or not. But we probably would prefer to see them used in an actual uh, project or something. So if any of those uh, units um, or those, any of those products or something you might be interested in because you're working on a 
a product that a, a kit that fits that, then let us know, and we'd be happy to work with you on uh, getting those uh, kind of looked at in a more detailed way than just me doing them, trying to do a video review or a, or someone else even trying to do a, a written review on something like that. All right, so we've got the latest issue of Abrams Squad. This is number 17, Two Tusk Academy RMF. Shilka Leopard, 1A D5, 1A5 DK, BTR80. So lots of stuff here, lots of modern armor. And we'll, again, we'll take a look at that in a turning the page. Um, we've got something here from uh, Russia, I believe. Oh, this is from Zvezda. I love the way Zvezda, they send their boxes like just the boxes in a, in a, in a bag, but um, this one looks like it includes two kits here. And they just tape them together, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, this one is the Russian uh, Fire Sport Combat Vehicle Terminator in 172nd scale. They did put a 135th scale version of this kit out a while back, but this is the 172nd scale version. And then we also have a 172nd scale ISU-122 tank destroyer. Uh, that's in World of Tanks, by the way. I believe it's a premium tank, I want to say. It is a premium tank, actually, I think about it. And this tank is in Arbor Warfare. So, <laughs> uh, it's just amazing how many, like, these gaming tanks are, are coming out. I mean, not that modelers and, and tank historians didn't know these kits or didn't know these vehicles existed, but this is, a lot of them weren't available in kit format until just more recently. Now, not the, well, I don't know about the Terminator. Was a kit out available for that more than, say, a couple years ago? Don't know. Well, here's some much-needed bubble wrap. Actually, I'm kind of running low on stuff like that. All right, so we have another in the Academy series of tanks and planes. They're, they're putting out these kits that are, let me get the no-glare look, uh, that are a uh, 172nd scale tank and a 172nd scale plane. This one's the JU-87G. Did I read that right? Yep. 2, G-2, and, a, and an IS-2 or JS-2, depending on your Soviet character uh, reading. Obviously, it means J uh, for Joseph Stalin. Um, then we have the 1700th USS Missouri BB-63. Kind of wish that was Wisconsin for personal reasons, but yeah, it is the, the Missouri. And I'm uh, not sure this is a new tool kit. A lot of the uh, recent Academy kits have been new tool. So that would be a, probably a very welcome new addition if that is a new tool, Missouri. Um, and then we have a, probably not a new tool, but the, um, the Academy M4A376W Battle of the Bulge. They put out quite a few of these 135th scale Academy uh, Shermans. So this is, I'm sure, another in a long line of releases by them. But uh, obviously a nice... Uh, unit time period for doing historical uh, dioramas or anything like that that would be that um, Battle of the Bulge time period. All right, well, thanks to MRC and Academy for sending us those. And then I believe, I don't know, this one's from Hobby Co. So last box here. And this one I get lots of paper in. Oh, wow. That, that was a lot of paper and one one kit. <laughs> you fooled me. Hobby Co. I thought it was going to be a bunch of kits and, you just, and they just put one in here. Uh, this is the P-51C Mustang Excalibur. Uh, obviously a race uh, version of a Mustang. I'm not sure if this predates, if this is during the war or after the war in terms of the history of this uh, plane. But it's Excalibur 3 actually. Uh, what's the name on it? Can't read the pilot's name. Might be able to under the magnifier here. Nope. Experimental. So it looks like this is the maybe the test prototype uh, Mustang for the 51C, I assume. Um, and uh, so that's probably a nice kit for people who really want to build like a, something different in a Mustang. Uh, obviously that paint scheme it almost looks like a metal foil uh, paint, like a, some kind of metallic red paint. Or it's just the uh, stainless steel uh, gone over with maybe a light red uh, dye. Did they use dye on stainless steel? What, I don't know what they actually tried to paint over that stuff with um, to sometimes give it that kind of red sheen. So maybe somebody in the comments section can tell me how that probably was done in real life anyways. Um, so uh, that's it for 
for kits and magazines and such. Like I said, we'll get these off uh, or do uh, something up as soon as they come up in the queue. And I probably ought to talk about the queue because the queue is getting ridiculously long for some of these items. Um, obviously, I try to prioritize items that come in that are new and new release or new tools especially. But uh, even that said, I've, I've got some stuff sitting here like the, the Yamaha Ninja motorcycle that's been languishing here. You know, the poor, the poor little ninja uh, hasn't found a home yet. He's been on the Auto Modeler site. I probably will end up doing this um, myself at some point, I guess. But yeah, we've got many, many others. So if you are interested in doing um, kit reviews, if you're not familiar with how the process works, I'll put a link uh, down below in the description. Uh, you can take a look at that. And um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time on Cracking the No, not on Cracking the Box. On Mail Call. I just, uh, <laughs> and I uh, hope everybody's. If I don't do another uh, Mail Call video, I'll just put it in this video. But I hope everyone has a great Christmas and holidays. Uh, even if you're not, you know, Christian or ho holiday-ish celebrating, just have a nice December and end of the winter solstice time period and so forth. And uh, we'll catch you next time on Mail Call. <laughs>